Salvete omnes, this is I'm Emilia, also known as the Martian Geek, and it's time for an announcement video. And this time we're going to be playing a little Magic the Gathering Arena. I've probably mentioned the game of Magic the Gathering before, but this is one of the possible online ways to play it. I probably won't be explaining much, or won't be talking about the actual game much, because that's not the point of this video. Though if people would actually like me to show it off properly and explain it better, I could do that. Well, uh, let's pick a deck here. I don't know, blue and green spells would dictate going with the merfolk, but... Uh, it probably doesn't matter too much, I'll just go with that one. Um, right. Could I actually hit play first? Most of my decks kind of suck, so if I lose a lot, yeah. Anyway, I hope everyone had a good Halloween, assuming you celebrate it. Personally, I don't generally go for the scary aspects of stuff. Like, I like the candy, even if I don't need the calories, and I like dressing up if I actually put forth the effort to do so. But, you know, I've never watched, I've never been into horror movies or any of that kind of stuff. Though I feel like these days people just aren't really scared of ghosts, vampires, witches, and all that kind of stuff anymore. Like, the, now you have to come up with more modern fears, like tax audits, a nuclear holocaust, our consumerist society collapsing around us, black people being out in public, or having the car wash cost five dollars. Wow, it's taking forever to get... To match me with someone. I'm not used to it taking this long. What, nobody else is playing this on a Sunday evening? There we go. So, my personal life has been okay, I guess. As long as you don't compare it to what society says that people my age are supposed to have been doing by now. Or I mean, I still have no job, no car, my living situation remains in doubt. And I'm just as lonely as ever. I am very thankful for my family. So, I do have them, but I would still like to have more friends, and even maybe someone to spend the rest of my life with. I'm still not sure, though, if that would be a romantic partner or simply a good friend. I'm like a really boring type of liminal being. Instead of being, say, half human and half fish, or half eagle and half lion or something, I just, I don't know, half boyfriend and half roommate or something. I think the bottom half is the roommate part. I'd be okay if online friends could just teleport, but... Actually finding people in real life to do stuff with, and connecting with them, eh, I'll get back to you on that. What is this person doing? See, this can happen sometimes, either... The, I don't know, I'm never sure if it's the game getting stuck, or the other person just waiting to troll you. And sometimes, it's, it could be either a combination of both, but there we go. Not a great starting hand, but it'll work. Honestly, I'm fairly convinced at this point that adulthood is just one-fourth executive dysfunction, one-fourth being tired all the time, one-fourth hating the state of the world, and one-fourth not having friends. And to top it off, I might have a little bit of seasonal affective disorder. I had kind of an episode on Tuesday. I need a third land here. Can't do anything with that. Like, I was really kind of sad and depressed for no real reason on in the morning, and... Then I started crying for even more no reason, if that's a thing. I ended up kind of taking a walk outside just to get some fresh air and exercise and all that, and I called my dad in tears, not knowing what the heck was going on. And according to my mom, that actually happens with me about once every few months or so, so yeah, I'm not sure what's going on with that. Of course, when it's 30 degrees out and gets dark at 5, let's actually cast something here. I doubt that does my mental or emotional state any favors. The official first day of winter is over a month away and I'm already ready for spring. It's beginning to look a lot like screw this. But let's talk future projects, and it's kind of a long story. First of all, there's the Mega Man 11 situation. Originally I was going to do Mega Man 9, in fact I was planning on playing that during the second half of Tropical Freeze. You might notice a distinct lack of it. But then Mega Man 11 got announced, and I thought, well, maybe I should just wait and do a blind run of Mega Man 11 instead. Yeah, the, yeah I'm just going to not block that. Wow, why is it so slow right now? 
but so I did actually record a make a uh, blind run of Mega Man 11. Recorded it over three days, but I only found out after I was done recording the entire thing that it was unusably choppy. Like we're talking skip 20 frames at a time, choppy. I am probably not gonna win this. In fact, I can I should probably just concede right now and start over. That is one thing about this game is it doesn't really give you any disincentive to just concede at the drop of the hat when some things look like they're going south. Also, yeah, I'm at the lowest rank. I sure am a loser. But yeah, I thought, you know, that might be my one chance to actually do a blind run of a Mega Man game on my channel, but it didn't end up working out. So, we still don't have a blind run of a Mega Man game here. Still, though, that does mean that I'm free to just do normal Let's Plays of it, so... Mega Man 9 will almost certainly come in the near future, and might even be the next game I do. Unless, of course, people would rather see me do Mega Man 11 first, and then 9 and 10 later on down the line. I'd be fine with that. Unfortunately, I'm not really sure what to do beyond that. I guess Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga might be a possibility, though I feel like the 3DS version of that might conflict, because I've played both, and so far the 3DS version... I mean, it's basically it's basically the same game, but there are some quality of life features that I feel like I've missed in the Game Boy Advance version. But I can't record the 3DS version because I don't have a way to record 3DS games, period. I know there are specific capture cards for it, but they're like 200 bucks last time I checked. So even though I, I want to get one of those and probably will at some point in the future, right now that's not much of a possibility. Hey, I'm a millennial. What do you expect from me? Financial stability? So, I don't know. I could also potentially do another Crows game, even though I'm definitely not as familiar with any of them as I am with the one I already did, Return to Crows. The fifth game, at least, isn't any harder than the fourth. And... Yeah, that's a possibility. I could do another regular old Mario game. Or even potentially another analytic LP. I'm still not really sure how people feel about that, about those. I think I'm actually going to get rid of that. I just kind of have to hope that I get something I can use here. I feel like maybe November and potentially December might be a good time to just do a few one-off projects and kind of figure things out a bit at a time. Oh, I guess one thing I wanted to do... Sorry for the delayed weird commentary. I'm kind of trying to multitask here. That is a big merfolk. I have to start concentrating on the game at least a little bit. Okay, so I want to get rid of that, but I also want to get rid of that, and... Second first thing is the first. I have the conflict stare angrily at the merfolk. Uh, where was I? Oh, yeah. Uh, one of the projects I wanted to do is actually a series of videos about how likely I am to play a certain game on the channel, or rather a bunch of different games. So I might start doing those sometime soon. There's always the option of more Super Mario World hacking stuff, but of course I need to actually do more of that before I can make videos about of it, about it. Which I'm hoping to, but we'll see how that goes. Also, the Make a Good Mega Man level contest 3 is a thing. And... I still want to enter that. I hope it's not a lost cause at this point. I feel like it's one of those cases where my entry kind of... The scope kind of went bigger and... I don't know. <laughs> I might do that. If I do make a level, I'll probably post a video of it. But again, that would require me to actually put forth the effort. Um, I do plan to do more Famitrack uh, Famitracker 8-bit remixes. I pronounced that weird. And I actually have a couple in progress already. 
I could do I could potentially do tracks from Mega Man 11, but I feel like everybody would be doing those. Like that might be kind of low-hanging fruit. Yeah, I haven't used any of the convoke abilities on here yet, but whatever. I could also potentially do other music, like stuff for Super Mario World, or if I could ever find a music editor that makes any sort of sense, I could do, like, formal compositions and stuff. And I do, I wish I could make more videos with, about um, putting lyrics to video game music. I did do one of those back in 2015, I think it was. It wasn't supposed to be one and done, but... It kind of just ended up that way. So I might do more of those. They do take a while to edit, though. Another thing I p could potentially do is revisit old games that I did previously, just to show things off that I didn't before. But that's something I'd probably just do at request. If anyone would like to see something like that, that's a possibility. Also, I'm actually planning on starting a second channel on YouTube, or potentially another video service, if anyone has any suggestions. Mm -hmm. And I'm planning on making that specifically for non-video game related stuff, because that seems to be pretty much everything I've done on this channel so far, so... That one wouldn't have any Let's Plays, it wouldn't have any ROM hacking stuff, anything like that. Different material... I'd have a different username and avatar, and on that note, I really need to get some background art for both this channel and the next one. one. I do have at least one friend who's an artist, and my brother's fiance is as well, so maybe I could commission something? Again, it goes back to the whole, not, I don't have a lot of money kind of thing. Honestly, it's kind of up to me, but it's, I mean, it's obviously up to me, but it's also up to you guys. Like, what would you like to do? What would you like to see more of on the channel? I won't take any and every request, but... Yeah, let's actually see if this works. But if you have any suggestions, I will certainly consider them and... You know, tell you how I feel about them. I'll just try to wrap this game up. It looks like whatever happens, one of us will lose. Or win. Soon. You can only block with one thing, I'm not sure what you're waiting for. Unless you have a one mana spell. There we go. Okay, there we go, I actually won that one. I didn't think I was going to, but it worked out. Also, there's a bug with the rank up progress. So yeah, we're back here. I could get and I complete this quest if I cast 15 more blue or green spells. I could get more of this, and yeah, well, like I said, I wasn't going to talk about the game too much, so I think that's about all I have to discuss for now. So, thank you all for watching. Like I said, if you have any suggestions for me, I'd be happy to hear them. And I will see you in the next project.